Corinne. Miners and hoes. No. <laughs> Time starts now. A group of pill pushers? <laughs> It's worth a thousand dollars. Greg, uh, an ace of kidneys. <laughs> How long have you known George here? Seven years. Yeah. Now, now you are signing. I notice, and that what does that tell us? That means he's deaf. <laughs> an ugly child. Now, you are a school counselor. Yes. This term for a long-handled gardening tool can also mean an immoral pleasure seeker. Ken, what's a hoe? No. Whoa! 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 They teach you that in school in Utah, huh? Al, what's a rake? A rake is right. Edda Tessman, Helen Alving, Newt Brovik. Who are three people who have never been in my kitchen? I don't know. What O is the generic word for any living animal or plant, including bacteria and viruses? Orgasm. <laughs> there, there are reasons, there are reasons which I won't go into that I can't accept that particular. All right, players, tell me what type of vehicles are used to compete in the legendary Tour de France? Alan again. Uh, uh, SUVs. <laughs> A specific part of the body that women try to accentuate. Say it. Breasts. <laughs> Name a part of the body that gets bigger as adults get older. Freddy. Penis. <laughs> what would be the ideal everyday Temperature, everybody, disrobe, 98.6, survey said, stay old, like living on the Aquita. Name a kind of bear. Carmen. Papa bear. A papa bear, of course. <laughs> only a papa bear. Name something normally worn only by children. Michael. Clothes. <laughs> Name something you might accidentally leave on all night. Yes. Your shoes. <laughs> I hope you won't take this the wrong way, Kenneth, but you are weird. <laughs> Got a boyfriend? I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just trying to get off the subject of schools. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, sorry Michael. I for, for, forgive me. A girlfriend? Have you got a girlfriend? No, I'm gay. <laughs> I'm a very happy little fella myself, actually. Name <laughs> something you feel before you buy it. Excited. <laughs> At Sir Irving's knighting, the queen slipped with her sword, so instead of being knighted, Sir Irving was blanked. Uh, bar mitzvah. Your drill sergeant has his drawbacks. Every time we make love, he expects me to clean his weapon. <laughs> now, we welcome you and ask you to tell us about yourself. I live in Orange County. I'm retired. I mean, retired. <laughs> country has the highest ratio of doctors to population? The country with the most Jews? <laughs> I 
would say Israel. You have a doctor in every family. It's a cousin, could be an uncle, a couple of specialists. I'll agree. You agree with that? It's Israel. He's right. It is? Joni, you're watching balls go back and forth at speeds of up to 160 miles an hour. In what sport? <laughs> John. Jogging. When a man falls out of your boat and into the water, you should yell, man overboard. Now, what should you yell if a woman falls overboard? Full speed ahead. <laughs> What should you do about a hairy back? Uh, I usually close my eyes and imagine she's wearing an alpaca sweater. <laughs> the law of what organization ends by stating that its members are brave, clean, and reverent? Alcoholics Anonymous. Boy Scouts. <laughs> Which letter of the alphabet sounds exactly the same as a term for a female sheep? Bah. You? Never mind. Will your husband say he is uh, basically more urban or rural, Kathy? I don't know what they mean. <laughs> well, you know him. Uh, I mean, you married him. What do you think? Uh, uh, heck, he's urban. He's urban? <laughs> yeah. How long has he been that way? <laughs> Two months. Two months he's been here. <laughs> do, you, do you think there's anything he can do about it? He went to a doctor. Oh, he did? <laughs> did did uh, the doctor give him anything for his urban? He gave me something. Though. Gave And say is his favorite condiment? Oh, I would say his pool table upstairs, definitely. <laughs> Annette? I, I never heard that word before, neither, so I said karate school. How many decades will your husband say his mother has lived? Gloria? Ten decades. Ten decades. <laughs> Gentlemen, how many decades has your mother lived? Daryl, you have a troubled look on your face. What's the matter? Oh, I don't know what a decade is. Forty-fourth <laughs> birthday, so she'd be good. It's four years a decade. She'd be ten decades. Ten decades. <laughs> Gentlemen, what is the very last traditional Jewish favorite your wife prepared for you? Jewish? Yeah. Hurry with your answer. Chow me. Chow me! Yes. yes. Um, corn. Corn. Chow. Okay, he, he said that it's, uh, just the top card, Rick, is really all I need this time, I think, is a bagels, he said. Bagels? Yes. What are bagels? You can go ahead and tell her, Rick, what are bagels? I don't know, I'm Mormon. <laughs> well, tell me, what is your favorite crustacean, Ray? It's I lobster. Did. All right, Lori said your favorite crustacean is uh, the stuff in your eyes. <laughs> the stuff that gets in your eye when you sleep. This is not lobster. No, it's not lobster. It's Donald. That's right. <laughs> yeah, <it's> <laughs> you wipe it away. <laughs> What's the one thing you would hate to hear your wife say about your last girlfriend on Coast to Coast Television? She said your last girlfriend was a hooker. <laughs> Will your husband say is his very favorite kind of rodent? Georgie? It's a rodent. His very, <laughs> his very favorite kind of rodent. His saxophone. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. What is the one thing 
The people on the other side of your street have more of than you do. Cars. Cars. Your wife said they have more, more grass than you do. More grass? Well, well, I, I wouldn't bet on that. <laughs> <laughs> What Spanish word or phrase will your wife say best describes her bust? Jimmy. Nada. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. On our wedding night, my husband, what? We went to bed. <laughs> what country will your husband say the last foreign car he rode in was manufactured? Friend? The United States. <laughs> That's not a foreign country. Um, Texas. Texas! Next question, girls. What will your husband say is his favorite thing to squeeze in the supermarket? Jane? I'd say his meat. Pardon me? His meat. Right. He's a butcher. One product name that best described your romantic behavior on your wedding night? Oh. I would say uh, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper! <laughs> Craig. Okay, she said you're the Jolly Green Giant. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it was... I'm not that big, Karen. <laughs> Five-point questions. Girls, tell me where specifically is the weirdest place that you personally, girls, have ever gotten the urge to make whoopee? Olga? Um. <laughs> Go ahead. In the...